In fact, only three components are needed to avoid fires. Here you see the schematic diagram of the flame monitor. I'm going into full details about how this circuit is made and how it works. Let's first introduce the infrared receiver, 8050 transistor and buzzer in the circuit. Let's take a look at the working mechanism of the infrared receiver. This is an infrared receiver of model MHL32 for PT03BRT. Its maximum reverse voltage is 30 volts. Generates 100 nanoamps of current without infrared light. Its work, if we plug this infrared receiver into a power supply of less than 30 volts, as the infrared light from the flame approaches, the current will gradually increase from 100 nanoamps. Let's go back into the circuit. When there is no fire, the current generated by this infrared receiver not enough and will not pass through the transistor so buzzer will not activate. The normal operating voltage of our buzzer here is from 1.5 volts to 5 volts. Devices with a maximum current equal to 30 milliampers. When a flame is created, the current generated by the infrared receiver will increase. This transistor increases due to the active inflow of current. The transistor is now act as a closed switch, so the voltage of the buzzer at this time is almost equal to 3 volts. That is, the normal working voltage. And buzzer start alarming. Hope you understand. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and follow.